This video is only intended for entertainment purposes. Viewer's discretion is advised. Guys, my name is Clovis Tam, aka the eShop Guinea Pig. I'm checking my mic if it's working. Today is uh, 28 degrees and it's super hot outside. Dripping sweat right now. Not dripping swag. Vietnamese Jesus just dripping swag good. Now I'm not like a swaggy person. Yeah. But uh, first of all, just woke up. No, I didn't just wake up. Set my hair, put on some moisturizer, ready to bang the day up and uh, what we gotta do today is uh pretty simple one job and one job only and it uh revolves around what i bought two months ago <laughs> all right here these stuff well what are these stuff these are uh for fixing surfboards yep i'm finally fixing my surfboard it's been broken for like two months and i haven't had a surf session since then just missing the water and it's summer right now. Although the waves in Hong Kong in summer is not that good, but I'll work with it. Just want to get my board fixed so I can surf as soon as possible. We'll see if we can uh, hit the surf spot on Friday with my friend, the one and only Rico Mm Mwai Ho Sin Sa. This man's been surfing with me since like day one, and today we're gonna find him to fix the board too. Although he doesn't know how to fix it, it's on my 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 work, you know. Whatever. We're gonna go hit him up, see what May's doing. Mace is like his dog, his doge, which is hella cute, and it's a uh, she. And we we gotta have to pack. I'm thinking I should bring this bag. Know, the camera bag with big bags. So I have my gear and stuff and I have to bring tools. Let's pull it up. I think what I should bring is the big bag, the Swifty bag. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll see each other soon. One eternity later. I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. But uh, you know what? This man lives in the middle of nowhere. What is this man doing right now at like 1.30 in the afternoon? 2,000 years later. <laughs> oh, let's see who we got here. Ooh, we got oh. man's best friend. Man. Me. Hey! <laughs> Dude, let's this put her on surfing. <laughs> oh, he's catching the Oh, she be surfing! Woohoo! <laughs> Snoop, go! Snoop, go! <laughs> she's scared, man. She's so scared. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You need to teach this dog how to surf. <laughs> Go be a surfing dog. Yeah. Sure, YouTube, you need to go there. I said, surf. Come on, man. Please uh, use the sandpaper to rough up and clean and dry repair area. Let's see the repair area. Oh, it is bummed out. It is pretty bad. It is damaged. It is pretty out of focus. It is. <laughs> it is tight. Man had to sand this off. This is what happens when you think you know how to surf. <laughs> <laughs> you actually don't. Apparently you just. <laughs> you just break the board. I broke this board twice. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I mean, he's a professional. Yeah. It's okay, you know, I'll be more professional. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Huh? We'll see. We'll see. We will see. This is what happens while I'm doing uh, major work. Major construction work. This man is right here, just chilling. 
He's just chilling with the dog, having a nice Saturday afternoon. I should have a beer right here. Like, are you gonna help in any just any gonna shape or form? Go inside. Okay. <laughs> this guy. This guy's gonna yeah. let me let me do all the all the work. Next step is. Uh, you don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know what the next step is. Uh, the next step is we use this zero G foam filler. Hi, uh, can you read out the instruction there? Okay, zero G ultra light UV. Foam. Twelve seconds later. Zero G cleans up with soap, water, and 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 will never let you down. <laughs> Sounds okay, like note, always use cover sheet on final layer to avoid a sticky surface. Whatever that means. <laughs> you know? I don't even know what that means. So, how do you use the tape to make it look like a cone? Oh, it's like a cone. So, they have like a place to sit on it. Oh, I get it. Come on, I'm a professional here. Actually, I'm not. Aha! Aha! We made a good coat. Now we need to seal it off. Let's see. Okay, I think you should go bigger though. So yeah? We can oh, yeah, true, true. From a wise man. From a wise man. <laughs> From a wise man to another. <laughs> okay. Okay, zero G in the shade. In layers, no thicker than a quarter inch. Uh huh. So the sunlight can penetrate and harden. I think the area is prepped for uh, damage control. In layers no thicker than a quarter inch. Uh huh. So the sunlight can penetrate and harden. In layers no thicker than a uh, quarter inch okay. or half a cm. We just seal it off. <laughs> what the hell? And then the hole comes out again, bro. Right here doing his first ding job. Ding job. <laughs> I don't think Kelly, Kelly Slater does his own ding jobs. Though. He rides a new board every year, sir. Man sponsored every day, but I'm not because I'm not that good at surfing. We can see he's not an artist, he's a big liability. Look at that. Yo, why are you signing that part? Call of Duty, yo, liability. Dude. Sand your hell, liability. Oh, I'm gonna so, sand your face. I'm gonna sand your brows, man. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. sand your face right off, bro. What are you doing? Man, this thing is hard. No, it's super oh, hard. Wait, what's hard? No. Oh, this process, this yeah. whole process is hard. Oh, yeah. Process. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's over there. Yeah, I'm almost there. Something else. Oh, nah. What are you thinking, guys? What are you thinking? <laughs> oh, it's pretty smooth, though. It's still sanding. Your telephone sunlight looks so wrong. Yeah. Kind of like, oh. One eternity later. It's currently 7.30. Yep, currently 7.30 and I'm still standing it down. Uh, we need to flip, flip it back up and check it out. Alright. Fluffed out. So I still gotta have to <laughs> sand this part out and uh, we're done. This is what colonization has done, people. Wake up. This is what quarantine has done to me. knows what he's doing. I'm the supervisor. You're the supervisor of this sweatshop. I am. Oh, how's the right. how's the grade in this sweatshop? Is everything on par? The conditioning, you know? How's the hygiene? I'm not done yet, sir. <laughs> this is at an 80% right now. Okay. See over here. 
<laughs> Bit salty, but um, pretty much there, I'd say. <laughs> Give it another 40 wait, days. So, wait, is this 40 days? <laughs> <laughs> With are some sun. Make, are we making food? <laughs> See my finger is uh, totally bruised. I wouldn't recommend you to sand by yourself. To be honest, I should have uh, found a professional to do the actual job. Got my editing glasses on. Just want to clarify that it is better for you to find a professional ding repair it, especially a ding repair this size, a blown out fishtail. Sanding the whole process creates a lot of little tiny dust and it's not that good for the environment. A professional ding repair it could have the equipment and also an indoor environment that could prevent that uh, from happening. It took me around two hours. I'm pretty knackered right now, pretty tired, but I successfully finished uh, Sanding the whole tail with the 80 grit paper. As you can see, this tail and this tail should be a little bit fatter because I over sanded it. Well, as you can see from the back, a little bit different too. Like it's not as fat. But I tried my best. I mean, this is what happens when you try to do a professional work that is only aimed for towards a professional individual and I'm not. It's okay, you know, I'll be more professional. More professional. More professional. Nope. This is the best I could do. And I gotta have to accept the fact that this is the best I could do. Well, gotta have to start standing it. Let me get the sandpaper in. Gonna start with the 150 and gonna sand it down nice and clean. Back here in the editing room. Thank you so much for you guys watching the whole video. If you're still here, give some props to yourself. I know it's not an easy process, but it is not an easy process for you, but it's also not an easy process of me fixing this whole damn board. Because uh, the standing process is really tiring. Just to conclude the whole video, I just want to have to give a shout out to these uh, pretty good products out there. First of all, I would recommend this Fix Doctor Zero-G Foam Filler first because uh, it hardens really quickly and just make sure you apply it one layer at a time and don't apply it under the sun yet. Apply it in a shaded area and then move it to the sun because I did that mistake and uh, when I apply it, it dried out in 20 seconds so that is why I got air bubbles. And uh, the second one is uh, the Fix Doctor kit, I would uh, I would also purchase this if you would want the whole package. Especially what you need is the fiberglass inside of this box. But I would recommend you not to get the sun power for this. Because uh, especially where I live, the sun only goes through the balcony. And if you don't have the sun, it would never dry out. It took me like 30 minutes to wait for the sun to come out and shine on that, expi uh, that, that specific spot. Even... If it's not like a strong sun, 
it will have these glue effects so it doesn't dry off so I can't sand it. So if you don't have a really strong sun in your area, buy the original one is what I would recommend. But be sure to check these two products out because uh, without these products, I would not fix this damn board. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. Uh, you don't have to share, but uh, like and comment and also press the bell button. And I uh, hope you guys come back and watch my second video which probably will come out not in the near future I would say probably another three months but I'm joking maybe some gaming videos but I'll see you around peace out